Okay, so today we're gonna be looking, today we're gonna, what is the point of this video? Like, it's not a hack. It's like a legitimate light though. I did not think this through. Whatever. Today we're gonna put together the most underrated, easiest to use, most classic light. 15 bucks and you can literally have it today from Ikea. That's not, it sounds like a plug and it's not supposed to be a plug. Cause like, I hate going to Ikea, but we're gonna do it. I'm making this video more so because I just want people to know that you don't have to have all these fancy lighting setups to get a good product. I have one light and it's literally right above the camera. I'm using a 2016 camera, neutral color profile. For anybody that's trying to get into making videos and stuff, lighting could be pretty, you know, intimidating. This is the lighting setup that is just the house lights. The color temperature's off, but it still absolutely looks garbage. My recommendation on buying bulbs is obviously daylight, trying to get white light. Look at the light bulbs and look at the colors and just make sure whatever that color is, you set your color temperature on your camera to that. I have actually taken this light to light interviews and stuff before. As long as you have a window, you're pretty much good to go. This is what the lighting setup looks like. Here's a look from behind the camera. The window light is on the left. Both lighting sources are equal distance from the subject and the paper lantern is slightly in front of the subject. There are plenty of videos online that you can find more information about this um, and kind of how to utilize it in your kit. There's a great one that talks about how you can utilize this light in Philips Hue. If you know what that is, it changes the colors of the bulbs and stuff. It's pretty cool, I will link it below. It's not about the gear, it's kind of more about how you use it and how you place it. And I wish more people would just stay there and I think we're all shifting to like, what's the new camera? How is this gonna be beneficial and stuff? Cool, 4K, 8K is great, but like, just don't stop being creative, that's all. I don't know. Was that stupid?